8 Strange Shark Habits Sharks are 400 million years old. Sharks balance the food chain and promote species variety in every ocean and certain rivers. Sharks even protect carbon capturing sea meadows by eating sea turtles that consume seagrass. Sharks' unusual behavior have developed for excellent reasons. 8 of the most bizarre acts help sharks survive. 1. Sharks hunt before birth. Some sharks lay eggs and others have lived young. Great white, mako, tiger, and bull sharks start hunting before birth, giving them an advantage over egg layers. Sand tiger shark females have two uteruses and generate several eggs. Ten will be fertilized, while the others feed their stronger siblings, according to research. When they reach two inches, embryos will search unfertilized eggs for food. After that, they attack weaker siblings. Embryophagy is intrauterine cannibalism. Baby sharks travel from uterus to uterus looking for prey until only the strongest two are born. Embryophagy benefits pups. It sustains them for 9 to 12 months in the womb, making them bigger and healthier at birth, improving their survival odds. It also removes weaker shark genes. The female sand tiger shark mates with several males, therefore her embryos have multiple fathers, however study has revealed that 60% of litters have the same father. The two pups born carry the stronger dad's DNA. This means newborn sharks are born hunters. 2. Mature sharks can cannibalize. When damaged, sharks cannibalize. As resources ran short, 300 million year old orthocampus ate its young, according to a 2016 research. Today's lemon sharks need shallow mangrove forests to shield their young from larger predators and other lemon sharks. Cannibalism is unusual for a species preserving mammal, but it's necessary. It feeds and preserves the fittest. Sharks aren't sentimental. 3. Unborn sharks perceive danger. A 2013 study of bamboo sharks discovered that some species have acquired pre-birth defenses. Egg-bearing sharks lay their eggs in mermaids' purses that adhere to plants with long tendrils. These pouches mask embryos' movements and scent as they grow. The case is open just enough to expose embryos to ocean saltwater in the latter weeks of gestation. The baby shark's electrosensory systems mature at the same time, allowing them to detect their predator's electronic signals. Young bamboo sharks are pre-programmed to sense these signals and hold their breath, twist themselves into balls, and freeze to avoid detection. The study suggests using this tendency to create electronic shark-repelling devices. Fishing nets accidentally kill millions of sharks and other marine animals every year, thus equipping them with such devices could preserve bamboo sharks and all elasmobranchs. 4. Sharks spy. Whales are known to spy hop. Certain sharks can peek out of the water. Some sharks swim with one eye above water, while others lift their heads vertically. Spy hopping is non-aggressive and gathers information, possibly for prey placement. Sharks softly surface many times without lashing out. Great white sharks are expert spy hoppers, especially around chum baited vessels. Oceanic white tip sharks can smell food above water, according to research. Sharks may be curious. 5. Some sharks leap out of the ocean. Great white, basking, and bull sharks breach at fast speeds, which seems odd for an animal that needs water to survive. Due to their swimming power, some sharks can clear the water for many seconds, making a breathtaking sight. Rocket, a great white, leapt 15 feet over the sea for the record. Hunting causes breaching. Sharks have learned to ambush their prey to catch agile seals. Utilizing the darker waters below as cover, a great white can sneak up on a seal, propel itself upwards at 36 feet per second, and catch it before it can escape. This ascending trajectory explodes in the breach. Sharks breach for more than hunting. Basking sharks breach to catch prey, although they don't need to. It may be a courtship ritual or a male shark's dominance display. The breach splash may warn or communicate with other sharks. Sharks may jump due to marine pollution, temperature variations, salinity, and parasite removal. 6. They avoid danger. The epaulette shark gently walks away from conflict, a method larger sharks can only dream. The behavior was first discovered in 1995 by researcher Peter Pridmore, but a 2015 BBC show at the Great Barrier Reef made it famous. Once the tide goes out, several epaulette sharks are stranded on the reef in temperatures above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. They may travel 100 feet or more using their pectoral and pelvic fins and minimize oxygen intake. They can refill their oxygen by crawling across the sun-drenched coral. Eight more walking sharks have been discovered since 1995, including the Halmahera epaulette shark in Indonesia in 2013 and four in a 2020 hemicillium investigation. 
A 2022 study found that climate change makes this ability even more valuable, demonstrating that this species has adaptations to survive some, but perhaps not all, of the severe conditions projected for the 21st century. 7. Sharks can vomit. Sharks have eaten tires, chicken coops, and even unexploded bombs. Trash in the waters is becoming worse. Sharks cope by vomiting, washing, and swallowing their stomachs in a split second. A 2005 Caribbean reef shark study detected two aversions of 0.28 and 0.40 seconds separated by 1.52 seconds. The study found its function may be related to clearance of indigestible food particles and mucus from the inner surface. A 1990 research of captive sharks demonstrated that they can evert their lower intestine through their cloaca, a cleansing program that lasts longer than the stomach variety. A recent paper in the Journal of Ethology reported that a shark can swim for almost two minutes with its gut dangling from its body. Wild aversion is dangerous. The Journal of Ethology studied an oceanic white-tip shark being hunted by smaller predators exploiting expelled digested material and trying to eat the organ. 8. Sharks prefer to reside inside of volcanoes. Sharks can be found in most environments, but few expect to see them in an active volcano. The Pacific Ocean near the Solomon Islands houses the Kavachi volcano. It regularly spews sulfur, carbon dioxide, ash, and rock into the sea, coloring it orange. Two shark species live in the poisonous, superheated caldera. A robotic submarine found hammerhead and silky sharks scavenging in corrosive waters during a volcanic investigation in 2015. Its evolutionary adaptations have helped them to survive the big five cataclysmic extinction events that killed off many other species. They also have early warning systems that let them leave before an eruption. The sharks are far safer in the active volcano than in an ocean near humans. So, what do you think? This is all way too interesting, but I think it's safer for humans that sharks are far safer in the active volcano, for our body parts sake. Please share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below.